I'm Jake. I'm Tom. We are VIMTV Velocities in Music, the best kept secret in music reviews. Today, we're going to review the new album from a band called The XX. Uh, this album's called Coexist. Mm -hmm. If you're not familiar with The XX, um, you're probably not really into indie music, which is which is cool. I mean, to each their own. Um, the XX are from London. In 2010, they came out with their self-titled album, and man, did it create a lot of buzz. Just kind of made just giant waves uh -huh. um, across you know the the, the interwebs. Mm -hmm. um, it, it was a it was a big deal. Um, their sound is so minimalistic. It is so mood and atmosphere based, and in, and the self-titled album at least told the story of this relationship. This this um, just struggles, mm -hmm. you know, this love that couldn't exist sort of thing. Yeah. And, um, it had it had a lot of very good instrumentation and interesting production, too. It mm -hmm. kind of felt distant, at the same time warm. Yeah, um, very intimate. Yeah. Like, you feel like you were right there uh, experiencing this with them, you know? The, right. The whole story. Absolutely. So two years later, uh -huh. they come out with Coexist, the inevitable sequel to their self-titled album. Things are a bit different on this one. Mm -hmm. um, while it's still the XX's signature sound, I, I, I think anyways, it still sounds yeah. like the XX. Like you hear it, no, oh, this is the yeah, XX. Yeah, it's not a sure. huge change. Right. They didn't pull a Beck on you or anything. Right. The mood is clearly, clearly colder, more insular. Mm -hmm. Everything is 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 just. It's, it's not as expansive. It's not as inviting. More right? stark. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And I think the vocals play a bigger role in this yeah, album. Yeah, definitely. Um, now, I, I think that what you have, the components that stuck out in the instrumentation on their self-titled album here are more hidden. I think you have to dig for them. I think, uh -huh. you know, you, you hear a lot of beats um, in the background, which where in the previous album they were more in the forefront. Now, mm -hmm. they're kind of covered up. They're distorted. Yeah. They have, you know, Reverbed lots out, of... Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. And they're just kind of in the background. They feel really soft. Yet they're there and they're providing uh -huh. some some substance. The guitars, similarly, I think the guitars are very nicely placed. They do a lot with some songwriting um, and song structure changes and stuff like that, but it's all a different mood <coughs> and vibe that they're going for. Now, that being said, Tom and I, we have kind of a special treat for you. Rarely do Tom and I disagree very, um, very largely. And this one's yeah. actually a pretty big disagreement Probably for us. Probably one of our biggest. I think we're eight, uh, we're 18 points apart yes. right now, mm -hmm. and that, that's a big deal at Velocity's Music. Mm -hmm. I'm going to let Tom jump in. Right. Uh, TD the Needy is going to give you <laughs> his analysis analysis of why he did not like this album. Okay. Uh, yeah, time for me to be the party pooper, the Debbie Downer, the party Buzz pooper. Killington. Whatever you want to call me, I'm sure if you really like this album, you'll have even worse names for me. No, I just call you um, needy. Yeah, you can call me whatever you want. Okay. You, you do that anyways. Yeah, I know. Uh, but, but anyways, uh, I really did not like this album, as Jake said. Uh, I, I won't say I hated it. This isn't Pink Friday Roman Reloaded after all, you know, but I, I really did not enjoy it. I will say I disliked it, uh, and here's why. Um, there's, there's an old adage in, in storytelling, in literature, um, where it, it's show, don't tell. Uh, instead of telling someone something, it's better to show them. It's better to demonstrate instead of just throwing words at them. I feel like the XX's debut album showed and this album tells. Uh, whereas you felt like you were witnessing this whole, this whole uh, uh, play of events on their first album. Here, they're just kind of throwing lyrics at you. Um, the lyrics are a big, big part of the problem for me here. And part of that also actually comes from the fact that uh, this album, uh, it, there's not as much going on in the background. The beats aren't as thick. They're, it relies a lot more on the vocals for that reason because they're very much in the forefront. Uh, now what that does for me is make me focus on what they're saying and how they're saying it. And when they're getting so much more direct in portraying the emotion and the feelings that they're having, instead of just painting a picture for you and letting you interpret it, they're just telling you right up front. But, but the performance hasn't shifted to match that because it's still very dispassionate. It's still very detached, kind of lethargic. And so I get these really emotionally charged lyrics, but they don't really seem to care about them. And when they don't care, how am I supposed to care? So I listen to this, and that paired with just kind of the generally bland soundscapes to me uh, made it very, very hard for me to like this album. Um, especially in the middle there, I felt like there was a big lull. I actually think that the first track, second track, were kind of all right, and then it just kind of fell off for me. Um, it just felt very soulless, very emotionless, where it should be packed with it. I, I actually agree with a lot of the points you made. Okay. Um, I, I think that, you know, when you really examine the lyrics, they are absolutely more direct and just more mm -hmm. just, here's my emotions, I'm feeling this. Except <laughs> yeah. they're saying it like this. Here's my emotions, I'm feeling this. That's literally how they're yeah. saying most of the lyrics. The XX vocal style on both albums is relatively similar. Mm -hmm. um, there, it, It's just... 
bland and just kind of given. It's just matter of fact, which, you know, it kind of fits their style, um, especially on the first album. But here, it doesn't really fit the words that they're yeah. using. Mm -hmm. And I completely agree with that criticism. And in fact, I, I would be amiss to say that it didn't affect my score. Um, I did not like this album nearly as much as I liked the self-titled debut. Uh, it, it, that was definitely a factor in why I didn't like it, as I also agree that it was a sack um, mm -hmm. in the middle. Now, I do think, though, that there are a lot of really good things that they're showing here that not only just in an improvement in songwriting over the first album, it's a different take and um, I don't necessarily like one way over the other. I gotta say, when I go back and listen to their self-titled album, I love that album a lot more than I like this one. Mm -hmm. um, and, and especially in the songwriting. Here, they're still experimenting <coughs> with ideas. You see a lot of really cool mm -hmm. production styles and, and techniques used, especially on the beats and in the guitars and how they're transitioning from different parts of songs to other different parts of songs and then within the songs themselves. Mm -hmm. um, I, I feel like um, the vocalists actually do a good job of presenting um, their vocals in that XX style. Now, it doesn't match the lyrics, yeah. but it matches the sound. And so I think yeah. that they were kind of, that. Yeah, I think I that they were that. kind of, um, you know, put between a rock and a hard place because there was no way they were going to do it. I think that the real root issue is the lyrics and how they chose to uh -huh. deliver them. And I wish they could have come up with some sort of other device to kind of make it more of exactly. an album feel, you know? Exactly. Because if they had sung these lyrics the way that I'm saying, the way, you know, really actually make the emotion match, yeah. it would have still sounded out of place. Mm -hmm. And so when you have a situation where either way of doing things aren't going to be that good, then you've kind of reached a dead end. Right. Uh, now, I understand that, you know, that that's just one guy's view. That's just my view. A lot of people are liking this just the way Absolutely. it is, and that's fine. Um, but uh, ju just keep in mind that that is where the disconnect lies between, you know, yeah. my listening experience other people's totally. listening experience. We all have different priorities, and for me, I was definitely looking for something a little more genuine, a little more believable. Well, the lyrics were so important on the first one, you know, that yeah. story that they told. Uh -huh. And here, I mean, just the fact of how they produced it, where the beats were more washed out and everything was more subtle, it, but they didn't really change the vocals all that much. Uh -huh. It made the vocals stand out more in the mix, yeah. so that they're more at the forefront, so you notice it even more than uh -huh. you did any other time before. So when you couple that, now, now that it's at the forefront, and you have the change in lyrical style, I mean, you really notice that issue right uh -huh. up front. Yeah. So, I mean, it, it's it's hard to get past it, I would mm -hmm. say. It's just for whatever reason, I'm able to li listen to the music and really enjoy uh -huh. some of the neat things that they're doing. It's a barrier for me. Yeah, it is. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So, one thing to keep in mind when you listen to that is this album is designed for vocals, for the vocals to carry more of the, a bulk of the workload mm -hmm. um, it, with, with the sound in the mix. And and it's just, it, I don't feel like they, they totally accomplished that. It uh -huh. just, I think it affected Tom really badly because, well, let's face it, he was an English major in college. It's true. You know, the, the humble accountant looks for the technical things. I can't <laughs> help it. I can't help it. Um, but overall, I felt like this was a step down. And just in relation to all the music that's coming out there right now, I feel like this album has some positive qualities. It's on that cusp for me of being a, a, an okay album and something that, you know, has some serious um, issues that it needs to work out in order for it to be considered good. I think mm -hmm. it's on the way there, but not quite there yet. I'm going to go an even 70 on this one. I'm going to go 52. Okay. Big difference in yeah. score. You guys tell us where you're at. For overall velocities in music, it averages out to a 61. Based on where we're at, I think that's a good score from velocities mm -hmm. in music on this album. Um, it shows that there's issues here. They need to fix those issues for this to be a good album. Now, you guys may listen to this and love it, and that's totally cool. Remember, as always, we're just two guys giving you opinions and descriptions of music. That's it. If you like an album or love an album, do it. Who cares what we think or what any other reviewer thinks? Music is yours and for you to love, not for all of us to agree upon. Remember that. So you can just listen to us for entertainment. We're just here. We're just you know, your music buddies. That's yep. it. I'm Jake. I'm Tom. And we are VIMTV. As always, moving music critique forward. And if I just mind.